Hello everyone, this is the casual fan. Now, Lewis Hamilton's place in the history of Formula 1 as one of the best to ever do it is undebatable. The Mercedes driver has achieved so much throughout a career that has spanned 15 years that not putting him alongside some of the best to ever do it almost sounds unfair. Having said that, one of the biggest debates around Lewis Hamilton is his status as the GOAT. Having matched Michael Schumacher and even surpassed him in some statistics, there are many that feel Lewis Hamilton should be considered the greatest driver to have ever raced in Formula 1. But at the same time, there are others that just don't agree with those claims. In this video, we try to look at this debate from both sides. I will try to keep it as comprehensive as I can as we try to look at the reasons why Lewis Hamilton should be considered the greatest driver to ever race in Formula 1. And then we look at the counterpoints of why Lewis, well, why the claims of him being the greatest driver to ever do it are, well, they're nothing more than claims and hold no substance. Now, before we proceed here, let's get one thing out of the way. Lewis Hamilton is a Formula 1 legend. What he has achieved in his career is unprecedented and because of that, he will always go down as one of the greats of the sport. But is he the greatest? Let's find out. Let's first take a look at why Lewis Hamilton could be the Formula 1 GOAT. Now let's just go through some of these statistics that this man has accrued over the years. Joint highest world titles. Most race wins, most pole positions, most podium finishes, most career points, and most laps led. It's a clean sweep for Hamilton when it comes to records in Formula 1. Lewis Hamilton is 37 years old right now. He started racing in F1 as a 22 year old in 2007. That's more than 15 years of fighting at the top of the game against some of the greats of the sport like Fernando Alonso, Michael Schumacher, Sebastian Vettel, and now the new generation of drivers like Max Verstappen, Charles Leclerc, and George Russell. This kind of longevity is not common. And this kind of performance at such a high level, year in, year out, you just don't see too many drivers pulling that off. Now when you talk about Lewis Hamilton, you talk about a driver that has a well-rounded driving style. You have a driver that is probably one of the best qualifiers ever in Formula 1. You have a driver that has shown racing acumen second to none throughout his career. More importantly, you have a driver that does not show too many weaknesses. You want someone to ring the lap time out of a Formula 1 car? You look at Lewis Hamilton. You want someone to make his way through the field and score a podium or even a win? You look at Lewis Hamilton. You want someone that can preserve his tires better than anyone on the grid? You point to Lewis. You want someone that guarantees you a strong performance in the wet weather. You look at Lewis. It doesn't matter what the situation demands. Lewis has shown that he can thrive in any condition and any situation and score big points for the team. It's rare to find many drivers that tick all the boxes and Lewis seems to be one that certainly does that. After looking at the kind of success that Hamilton has achieved in Formula 1, sometimes it does get overlooked. The kind of challenges a poor black kid living in Stevenage might have had to face while making his way to a sport that is, well, even in its latest iteration, a rich kid's sport. Lewis was a special talent even when he was competing in karts. But he was not the only special talent there. Every year, there are multiple special kids that compete in carts. Not everyone gets through. Not every kid at such a tender age has the drive to progress through the levels. And if we are being honest, 
not many have the work ethic either add to this the fact that you don't come from a resourceful family and the fact that you belong to a marginalized part of the community there is a reason why f1 still does not have another established black driver on the grid right now despite lewis being there for the last 15 years and the reason is that it's not easy the reason is that it's very very hard to break the glass ceiling jet lewis did it he made his dream come true despite having so many hurdles thrown at him sometimes we tend to forget where lewis has come from and sometimes we tend to undermine his achievements because of that there are races in a formula 1 driver's career where no one can touch him where he finds himself on the back foot and with the enormity of his talent he is able to dig himself out of that giant hole and succeed lewis has done that multiple times in his career one of the earliest occasions was his drive in the british grand prix where hamilton finished a wet race almost a lap ahead of every other driver on the grid even during his dominant stint at mercedes there are multiple races where lewis was on the back foot and mercedes was all but counted out as a contender for the win in 2018 german grand prix the way lewis went through the entire field to win the race was just magic on four wheels races like the turkish grand prix 2020 or even the brazilian grand prix 2021 These are the races that are a true testament of the ability of a driver that just cannot be questioned. Lewis has proven time and again what he can do behind the wheels of a Formula 1 car and these wins they are just a testament to his abilities. When we talk about Lewis Hamilton's career there's one specific aspect that does not get talked about enough. It is his debut The year was 2007 and Lewis was handed his debut by McLaren. He was going to partner the incoming two-time reigning world champion Fernando Alonso. The expectations from him play the support cast as often as you can. However, what happened that season was unprecedented. Lewis ended up beating Fernando Alonso that season and lost the title by just 1 point at the last race of the season. He beat the gold standard of racing in Formula 1 in his debut year. Just let that sink in. In F1, there aren't many drivers that are ready to win the title in their first season itself. Ayrton Senna was not. Neither was Prost or Michael Schumacher or Mika Häkkinen or Alonso or Vettel. On the other hand, Lewis Hamilton was. Sadly though, with a career that spans more than 15 years, the best aspect of Lewis Hamilton's career tends to get ignored. When you talk about Lewis, you talk about a driver that has proven himself on so many levels. And again, these factors are a true reflection of that. Now, With that out of the way, let's take a look at the factors that go against Lewis in the GOAT debate. Looking back at Hamilton's career, he has 7 championship wins to his name. The runner-ups in all those title wins were Felipe Massa, Nico Rosberg, Sebastian Vettel and Valtteri Bottas. excluding Vettel who suffered from a deficit in performance with the Ferrari neither of the other drivers were what anyone would call the elites of the grid when lewis beat felipe massa there were drivers like fernando alonso sebastian vettel and robert kubica on the grid with uncompetitive machineries at their disposal when lewis beat rosberg and bottas mercedes was in a league of its own and had no competition When you compare that with Schumacher beating Hill in 1995 in a Benetton that was slower than Williams or Ayrton Senna beating Alain Prost and then Prost beating Senna in the same car you see the difference in the caliber of the opposition some of the greats in F1 beat during their championship wins 
There is this famous quote in sports: "You are as good as the competition you beat." In his title triumphs, Lewis did not really beat the elites of the sport, and to an extent that does count against him in the goat debate. Okay, let's get one thing out of the way. Even if Lewis fans believe that he was robbed in Abu Dhabi in 2021, then there's still one fact that cannot be ignored. Max Verstappen was the better driver in 2021. he made the least mistakes he was the more consistent driver and most importantly if he didn't have that much misfortune the title would have been his even before the last race of the season now with that out of the way let's address the elephant in the room lewis hamilton was beaten in the championship by jensen button in 2011 and then to the title by nico rosberg in 2016 that's two drivers beating lewis hamilton in the same car when you're talking about a driver being the greatest of all time should he really be losing to his own teammates not once but twice in his career sure both button and rosberg were very high caliber drivers but in essence you can't really say they were a bigger adversary than an alonso or a vettel in the same car Somewhere down the line when you talk about the best to ever do it he cannot be losing to a lower caliber of drivers in his career Now while there is a clear evidence of Lewis Hamilton making a massive difference to Mercedes when he joined the team and even at times when the team was in the dumps you cannot compare that to the impact Michael Schumacher had at Ferrari a team that was not winning the title for close to two decades or lauda's impact at both ferrari and mclaren or what ella prost was able to do with mclaren by guiding the team through multiple hoops and regulation changes while there is no denying that these years of mercedes dominance whenever there was a blip lewis played his role in bringing the team back to the front You just cannot compare that with the five years of toil a Michael Schumacher had to contend with at Ferrari before the team entered its dominant years. There is just a massive difference in the impact Michael Schumacher had at Ferrari as compared to what Lewis did by keeping Mercedes as the dominant force in F1 throughout the turbo era. Lewis is arguably an awesome driver in the wet weather. But is he the best driver when the track is wet? Sadly, I don't think so. The answer is no. While Lewis Hamilton has had some mind-blowing races in the wet, throughout his career there have been other drivers that prevailed and arguably performed better in the similar conditions. Even in 2008 When Lewis had the crazy win in Silverstone, it's very very hard to say that his win eclipsed Sebastian Vettel dominating a wet race weekend in a Toro Rosso in Monza. During his stint with McLaren with Jensen Button as his teammate, Button had as many as 5 wins in mixed conditions, while Lewis Hamilton had 0. While Lewis has had multiple race wins during his time with Mercedes, there are losses as well to Max Verstappen in the 2019 German Grand Prix or the 2021 Imola Grand Prix. Sure, Lewis is a fantastic driver in the wet weather. But it does appear that for all his accolades, he is not your go-to driver when it comes to wet weather conditions. For Hamilton the greatest decision of his career was moving from McLaren to Mercedes. The move gave the British driver 6 more world titles to add to the one he already had in the eyes of many. It elevated him to goat status. However, before the rise of Mercedes, Lewis did not enjoy the accolades of being considered the best driver on the grid. While he surely was considered to be one of the best drivers on the grid he truly was one of the elites at that point 
but when you talk about the best driver on the grid it was either sebastian vettel or fernando alonso who got those accolades for hamilton his rise to prominence in mercedes coincided with alonso's mclaren honda debacle and vettel going to ferrari and completely imploding because of this the drivers that were the true gold standards of hamilton's generation could not compete with him anymore however if we look at the ecosystem before that from 2010 to 2013 hamilton could not beat either vettel or alonso in the championship standings and this is despite the spaniard having an arguably inferior machinery at his disposal during that time hamilton had even lost to jensen button in 2011 hamilton was considered an elite driver before he even joined mercedes but it's fair to say that he was not the gold standard of racing before he jumped into a rocket ship called mercedes and started competing with rosberg and bottas for the championship now we've had a look at both sides of the coin On one side we have compelling arguments on why Lewis Hamilton as the GOAT makes complete sense because of the way he has fought the odds to reach where he has in the sport. On the other side it makes you think that maybe the GOAT in Formula 1 should not be losing to his teammates multiple times in his career. At the end of the day it's hard to deny that Lewis Hamilton would surely go down as one of the best to ever do it. but is he the greatest well i am going to let you take a call on this one what do you guys think is lewis hamilton the formula 1 goat you have the facts right in front of you and i want you to decide is lewis hamilton the goat or is it someone else drop your pics in the comment section i hope you guys like the video please give it a like and subscribe to the channel thanks for watching guys see you next time